That's the question. Because based on my theory, if PR3 is not involved, you should not have a granuloma because MPO does not form granulomas. It can cause independent vasculitis. Great. But what came before the G? What came before the G? It was E. E for? Eosinophil. Now, this is the trick. Eosinophil can independently welcome the macrophage. So eosinophil is going to independently welcome your macrophage to come and form giant cell epithelioid histiocytes and form the granuloma. So when it comes to eGPA, you want to remember this. Apart from being a vasculitis, you have involvement of Th2 arm of your immune system, which releases a lot of interleukin-5. And what does interleukin-5 do? Interleukin-5 invites eosinophils. And eosinophils is going to invite macrophages. So if you have too much eosinophils in your body, what's going to happen? What are you prone for? A lot of allergic symptoms. Asthma, atopy, right? Hives. All those kind of allergic symptoms is what are going to be present. So a lot of times your patients, especially for the boards, because that's how they can give you the information that you need, these patients are classically going to present with what?